one. With central coach Aaron Daniels after a big 50 to 49 comeback win over Berry Hill at Berry Hill in the class 4A districts. Coach, um, your team was down by 12 points going into the fourth quarter. What was the key for you? The key was, and we always use an analogy, it's just like if, if, you, if you're in a boat and you're sinking and you're getting tired, are you just going to quit? If you do, you're done. And I know that may be cheesy or cliche, but we had to use something to try to get at those guys because their body language was looking a little sketchy. All right, it was looking like and all, when all you've done is lose for the better part of the last month or so that we have, you're familiar with that feeling. And when you hit some adversity, it's like, oh, here we go again. So we were just throwing a, whatever we could as coaches at the wall just to see what was going to stick. And in a, in a weird way, it was a gift and a curse that our leading scorer had to sit for a while. So now we had to sort of re-identify ourselves as a team. And we tapped into something. And we saw one stop after another stop, one bucket after another bucket, and we just started believing more and more. And uh, Barry Hill made some mistakes. That, that's the luck that we tap into that we talk about. And that contributed to us being able to stay the course and stretch that game out for as long as we could. And we came out on the winning end for a change. It feels great. And the leading scorer you're referring to is Kalen Goff Brown, who yes. made the big plays, made the winning free throw with 10 seconds left, and blocked a shot in the last seconds. Talk about Absolutely. his game. Well, you know what? He was able to stay engaged because he got two fouls in the first quarter, if I'm not mistaken, three before the first half was over. So he did a lot of sitting for the better part of this game and uh, didn't necessarily get to establish a rhythm in the game, particularly on the offensive end of the floor. And what we've battled with him on throughout the, the majority of this season is affecting winning in a different way than just scoring the basketball. And I could tell that he was getting to some points where he, he sensed the sense of urgency. He knew what time it was, so he wanted to get in the game and start to assert himself offensively early and often, but he was inefficient early on. We just kept preaching to him, hey man, stay locked in on the defensive end, utilize your teammates. We were repeating that to him. And he believed in it, and you saw him making plays. He was in the passing lanes defensively all night long. He was scrapping. He came up with that with that block on that last possession of the game that you're talking about. And he made a play, got fouled, and went to the free throw line. He split, even though we'd love him to make two, but one was good enough to get us up one, and that ended up winning winning the game, that, that last sequence. And he had just as much to do with that as anybody. He's growing as a leader. He's becoming more and more mature, and I'm loving what I'm seeing.